So today is just going to be a little bit of a random video and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going as fast as possible trying to create a top five of just things in Animal Jam. My looks, features, items in shops, things like that. So let's just get started. So I'm going to start with my looks. So I'm going to go count up because I think that's easier for me. So, so number one is my main look. And I think number two is my flamingo. This is sort of a simple look, but I like it a lot. And I love flamingos. I just think they're such a cool animal in Animal Jam, especially. And then number three is probably this Arctic Wolf look. I made this one time for a fashion show because the theme was rainbow. And I really liked it, so I kept it like that. Um, number four, I think, is just this cute lynx. It's just very cute. And then number five, what is this llama, which I actually won the llama looks contest with it. Well, I was one of of many winners, but that's how I got my black candy cane socks, and in case you saw them and were wondering. So, then pets. Number one is, I mean, I'm going up because it's just easier for me because I can tell my favorites really easily, but if I was going to go down from my least favorites of favorites, to favorites of favorites, it would I would have to pick out five first. So number one is Red Pup. I have no idea why I named it that, but I got the little effects on it. I really like her. So then number two would have to be this peacock because I remember I was so excited when peacocks came out. It was, Animal Jam actually did a vote what kind of pet do you want added into the game and peacocks I know elephants were another one of the options I know all three options got added into the game but I can't remember what was the other one if it was like llamas or something like that or were llamas even added into Animal Jam? I don't, I don't know but so then number two is this peacock I love, I love all the outfits and stuff you can get on them. Number three is Windpaw, this mouse. Um, I usually name it Paw after Warrior Cats. And I got one of the ultra rare butterflies out of an Animal Jam pet house. And that's how I got this little girl. And I love her bow. So then... Number four is probably my echidna, just because it's so cute and sweet. I just want to squish its little cheeks and yeah. So and then number five, I think, is worm whistle, because I like I really like the hearts on her, and I think the snail leopard is just a really cool design. So. There's my top five pets. So now what? Okay. So. I could go to the toy box and I could see which ones of these I have that. So this is number one because it's my ultra rare butterfly. I have a grasshopper that I just never entered the code to. I don't know why. That. I think Kent's is number two because I really like Oh yes, and then I have the solar eclipse. So if that grasshopper counts as number two, then I think silver chip, this peacock, counts as number three because I love peacocks. And then the raccoon because the raccoon pets are so adorable. So that's number four. Yeah, right? Yeah. 
and then we've gotten and then number five is this little pony she's really cute so there's my actual pet at houses let's go oh I can do dens so So number one is this small house, which is the den I'm usually in. This colorful princessy den. Number two is this. Is probably, I think probably my masterpiece gallery because of, because all the art and stuff. I love art and Oh, it's a red panda. I love red pandas so much. They're my favorite animal. I love these sweeties. I should actually draw like a red. I know Bubble Yum 7. I know she. She's one of my favorite artists. Spiral Universe. Oh, I'm getting off track here, but. Um, but Spiral Universe and Bubble Yum 7 are my favorite favorite artist and I know she's been working on a red panda so I can't wait to see that when it's done. So oh yeah I have all my cakes. I'm gonna add my eighth birthday cake to all those sevens. So let's look at birthday cake and let's just I'm getting really off track here. <laughs> That's okay. I love the food theme. I finally, it took me a whole year, but I got all the birthstones. Oh, I have my sixes. Do I have fives and fours? Yep. Finally. So, anyway, I got off track there. Anyway, number three is probably my Enchanted Hollow. Just because I really like the decoration on, it's like all nature y. One thing I'm really looking forward to Night of the Phantoms is I can't wait to get more of these fogs like without fog fog I've had oh yeah okay that leads me to number four which is my TV trouble um I don't really know which small house this is in because I have so many I have like five but I like that I like this nature that might be number five but then number four is this one no, that's a work in progress Jamal a day ten. <laughs> that's my birthday cake done. I mean that's my um VidCon twenty seventeen done. Birthday cakes are and that leads me to my final done. It's it's really the final I really like this den, especially the outside. Um, but birthday cakes, they're really good for rarity because like the first and second and third, because they're never coming back in shops. So they're just gonna get rarer and rarer and rarer and you know they're never gonna be re-released because that just doesn't make sense. So. On to the next thing. Let's do, should I do my top five lands? I think I could make a whole video like explaining this, but I think, no, I can't do that. Cause I think my number one's probably Mount Shabir. My number two is probably Crystal Sands. Number three is probably Jamon Township. Four, Belouch, and five, Serapia Forest. I think that's my rating. So, what is this? I've gotten oh, okay. 100 million minutes. This team is almost 200 years. So, if all the players in Animal Jam were converted into minutes, we would last almost 200 years. I just said that in a really strange kind of way. Highest. I learned that. I never really thought about it, but it's this is the highest point in Animal Jam. 
the mountain. It goes even more up, up off the screen, and you know what? I'm getting too distracted here. So, um, wait. Should I do one more? Let's do one more. Let's do. Oh, good. Okay, so I'm going to do top five of the parties you can host. So there's this one, this one. I think number one's this one. I really like the whole candy theme. Number two is probably this one, just because, like, it's, like, kind of nostalgic for me. I just kind of, like, those oldish items, some of them are beta, some of them, like, the mirror you could have you used to be able to buy that clothing rack they're just number three is probably this one number four this one and number five this one so yes before I get distracted even more I wait distraction again Okay, I thought of something else. Let's do, let's just, with the upcoming parties, let's see which one of these I like best. I mean, it's not all the parties, so I can't really rate these. But, out of all of these, I would say, um, five, four, three, two, wait, four, three, two, one, there we go, that's the parties that are on right now, or upcoming, and with that, I am going to wrap it up, well, I hope you enjoyed this, and if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to let me know, comment, like, and subscribe, have a great day, and stay awesome!